Hey everyone, and welcome back to part two of me talking about my new Canon Vixia HF R700 camera. In the previous episode, I showed off the camera itself, talked about some of the specs of it, and showed what came in the box. And in this episode, well, we're actually going to look at video captured on this new camera. So I'm shooting with it now, and we'll go through some of my general workflows. So me talking to the camera, we'll show off some of my 3D prints and some of the close-ups that I normally do on my YouTube channel. And then we'll compare the video that I'm shooting with this camera with the Nikon J3 that I've been using for the last year or so. So let's get to it. So here's the first point of comparison. I've got both my Canon and my old Nikon J3 set up and recording. So I should be able to do a nice split screen comparison between the two cameras. And we should be able to see the differences in image quality between the two of them. I'm expecting it to be pretty substantial, but there's only one way to find out. So this is kind of my uh, talking to the camera kind of workflow with the lights set up kind of behind and off to the side. Um, we'll try out this, we'll see how this looks, and then we'll go and uh, I'll start up a print and we'll see how the differences are in the two cameras when I'm looking at the printer. So let's freeze frame right here and compare and contrast these two images. And the first thing that jumps to mind is how much the whites are washed out in the J3 compared to the Canon. Now while I prefer the look of myself through the J3 because the washed out whites hide some of the blemishes on my face. The Canon is a much more realistic looking images. The whites aren't washed out as much as they are on the J3 and it just looks like a much more natural image. And that's a trait that we'll see throughout the rest of this test footage is just how washed out those whites and how overpowering they can be on the J3. The Canon however, it looks much more realistic. So I have kind of a test print going. I have the printer running, it's just running through some G-code, but it's not actually printing anything. But I wanted to have it moving so I can, you know, determine autofocus and that kind of stuff. And I have both cameras running at the moment. And this is just to give us a point of comparison between the image quality of my old Nikon J3 and this new Canon. So let's try some uh, zoom in, shall we? So this is kind of the max zoom on the uh, J3. And I'll zoom in the same with the new Canon. You see a little bit of difference in image quality. I'm sure it will be more apparent when I'm looking at the actual images rather than through the LCD screens that I am now. Uh, but the one good thing about this camera is I can zoom in much farther. And I can't really autofocus it right now because I don't have the hands for that. But I should be able to manually focus in so I can get some nice close-ups of some of the equipment here, which would be really cool. One of the big differences is the angle of the lens. You can see that the Nikon J3 is actually zoomed out much farther uh, by default than the Canon is. The Canon can zoom in a lot further, uh, but it can't zoom out as much. It doesn't have such a wide-angled wide lens as the uh, standard lens on the Nikon. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to, different ways of framing the shot and such. So if we just pause on one of the frames from these two shots, we can see again that the Nikon J3 had a very uh, washed out white. The reflections coming from the aluminum extrusions are overpowering the sensor and it gives kind of like a haze, a white haze over the entire image. That same kind of haze is not present on the Canon. The Canon's still very crisp and sharp. Uh, from even from the whites in the background and the reflections from the aluminum extrusion. So now if we draw our attention to the colors of the images, you can see that the colors pop a little bit more through the Nikon. The colors seem a little bit more saturated, a little bit more vibrant. The Canon's colors are a little less vibrant um, from the J3. Uh, I may have to tweak a few settings with the Canon, but with stock settings, um, that's how the images turned out, so that's what I'm going to compare here. Um, so while on the Canon, the whites aren't as washed out as they are on the Nikon, the colors aren't quite as vibrant either. And another thing that I do quite often is zoom in on 3D prints. So I have a few prints here, and we'll see how getting close up of those prints turn out. So I've got a failed Buddha here in the back. Up front, I've got a uh, two-color kitty cat. And then I have the same cat over here, uh, printed with some dissolvable filaments. Be sure to subscribe to see that video, because it's coming out pretty soon. But this is how it would look now, with zooming in and focusing. And I think that it looks pretty good. You can zoom in at a pretty nice level, 
and still get really good detail and a really crisp focus there. And for comparison, here's the Nikon J3, zoomed in at a, a close level. I can't get quite as far zoomed in as I can with the new Canon, but here is me focusing on a few of the different prints here. You can see some of the, uh, the difference in the focusing and some of the difference in video quality. So you can see here on the manual focus mode, I can zoom in pretty far and still get a nice clean focus uh, in the image. So that'll be nice in some of the shots that I want to do. So here we'll do a comparison between the 1080p 30 frames per second and the 1080p 60 frames per second. So currently we're watching the 60 frames per second go, and then I'll flip it over and now it's the 30 frames per second and we'll see if there's a difference. So this has been me showcasing my new Canon Vixia HF-R700 camera. Thank you guys for joining me on this ride. I am excited for this new camera and I can't wait to start editing this video to look at those comparisons because I am excited. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.